Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Taste Tutorials and my name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we are going to create another double exposure effect. I know there are lots of double exposure effects but these are nice so I've made experiments and it looks nice. So we can get this kind of output and we can get this kind of output it's all on your choice if you want to use this texture or this texture both are included in the project file you can download this free link is given in description and uh, just go and follow that link and you will find all of the files and including this project file so let's start our work without wasting any kind of time uh, we are going to use uh, this model image and uh, actually I would like to increase the uh, size so let's just increase the size a little bit to make it look like better click on this uh, content aware fill area click on check mark and you will see the areas are filled with our choice uh, color that's cool now I'm using Photoshop CC 2017 and you can use any of the Photoshop by its your choice. Now uh, we have our model so we'll go to quick selection tool create a selection as we do in all the videos. Okay so once you are satisfied with your selection just click on select and mask and you can use refine edge as well if you are using another version of photoshop and just brush the area out once uh, you are satisfied with the uh, removing of background just shift the edge to a little bit uh, 6 or 7 i think it's 8 is much better for this particular image yes now click on output to new layer with layer mask and click on ok so we have a nice uh, removed background now we need a background I would like to use a white background it's a solid color so we'll go to adjustments and click on solid and make it white that's cool now you will see there is a little bit of a problem here select your mask brush sorry mask layer mask and go to brush tool which foreground color should be uh, I think uh, black uh, sorry white and we will get back the area which we have removed mistakenly during the removing of our background and I think everything is nice yes we don't need to mess with other things so we will name this layer as a uh, girl and now we will name this layer as uh, BG and now it's time to use uh, make it black and white so go to uh, go to adjustments and click on black and white from the black and white just make this clip mask so the effect will be applied only on this image now uh, it's time to apply our second image I'm going to use this image we'll uh, unlock this layer right click on that and click on convert to smart object now click and drag inside our uh, main document before we do anything else we'll press ctrl alt and click between these two layers or if you don't want to do that just right click on this layer and click on uh, create clipping mask we'll name this layer as a uh, as a uh, tree and then we'll press ctrl T and uh, we'll adjust the size where it looks nice and I think it's it's nice it's nice here so let's move this a little bit to this side that's cool click on this check mark and we have a nice effect so if you wanna make it uh, lighter you can do that work as well and I would like to go with normal it's uh, much better now before doing anything else I would like to get rid of this uh, gray background go to image 
adjustments go to levels from the levels go to presets and change it to lighter and that's nice we have uh, we will if you get this just shift this edge to about the whiter and i think it's uh, it's nice here and i would like to change this to a little darker click on ok that's nice and now we will apply a layer mask and select your brush tool where is the brush tool oh come on so have a brush tool and we'll make the foreground color as black size it up and change the opacity to about like uh, 50 percent flow should be also 50 percent and just i would like to get my character's eyes back We can do the same thing with uh, some dynamic brush. So that's nice. Let's just make it 100%. And there we have our nice effect huh, you will see the background is black and white so we can make it back to color and uh, that's nice I think it's nice look so I would like to apply a gradient on this layer so go to uh, create a new layer name this layer as uh, gradient and change this uh, blend mode to uh, sorry it's uh, adjustments and click on gradient then from gradient click on uh, any of the gradients click on ok ok first we'll make it a uh, soft light and now we will adjust the gradient color i think this one is uh, nice click on ok we'll make it radial change the scale to zero percent reverse this i think reverse yes reverse this and increase a little bit click on ok you will see this wire a little bit so click on this trees select your brush tool and sorry it's uh yes so i think we should leave it as it is because it's slow it looks nice as well and uh we would like to make your uh, this character skin is a little bit uh, colorful so select your black and white filter and turn down the opacity to about like uh, 50 percent that looks nice now the only thing is left is our light uh, before we do anything else we can make it a little bit more tweaked how just go to uh, select your character layer select the selective colors make a clip mask and go to uh, green and we can target the green color that's nice now I would like to apply a, a black and white layer mask on our this layer so go to image adjustments but before do anything else select the image then go to image adjustments and go to black and white click on ok then we'll size it down sorry uh, we'll select our black and white filter click on these uh, levels uh, panel and go to size it down where it looks nice 18 is nice so click on ok that's uh, that's so cool and now I would like to apply a light so we'll go to new layer and clip this uh, gradient also name this layer as uh, light because light gives a nice look to this image so we'll select a soft rounded brush having 0% of hardness size it up and change the color to 
about light color and click twice then change this to hard color size it down double click change this to light or screen I think light is uh, screen is nice I think and press ctrl T size it up don't make it too much big just a little bit smaller that's cool and let's just go to wee saturations make this clip masked but don't do that we're not uh, doing this now we'll apply only this light on only light and now we can change the light color that's that look nice press ctrl T that's much better now we need some birds because birds need gives a nice look to our image so I would like to use birds but not like this we'll select our we saturation layer and then we'll drag our birds that's nice size it up change the blend mode to multiplied that's cool size these down size down these birds flip them and rotate them like this first and drag under this then control J and we'll make it flip horizontal and then make it a little bigger and that's it so that's the effect and I would like to give a final color go to levels change this to blues and that's much better and nice so that's the effect which we have applied on our image and I hope you like this uh, video if you like this video and found this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up We'll meet in our next video, never stop, never depend and keep learning.